Okay, so everyone, in this video we will discuss as to what does it mean or what happens should we advance the fuel pump by one tooth. You see that? That is advanced by one tooth and this in perfect timing as well as this is in perfect timing. We've advanced here by one tooth. I see some people doing this and I already received a couple of questions regarding this. Basically, they want to know if it's okay to do this or if it's safe to do this to your engine. Now, before we start, I urge you to watch these videos first. This is a video wherein I showed how to tune up your engine and fix the timing of the fuel pump using a dial indicator. This is a video wherein I showed how to tilt the fuel pump and also showed how your fuel pump works as to how it distributes diesel to each cylinder. So I urge you to watch these two videos first because in this video we will be using this dial indicator again as well as this homemade pre-stroke measuring tool in order for us to find out exactly what advancing the fuel pump will do to your engine. So ideally we want the diesel to be introduced inside our engine after top dead center. So this is the meaning of top dead center. So as the piston is about to go up okay during the compression stroke this is before top dead center and as it reaches the top that is top dead center and as the piston is about to go down again that is after top dead center and that is when we want to introduce the diesel see because the piston goes up and down like that so like i like i've said as it goes up that is before top dead center it reaches here top dead center and as it goes down again that is after top dead center that is why on this timing belt cover this is top dead center and ATDC meaning after the top dead center you have 4 7 and 10 meaning 4 or 7 or 10 degrees after top dead center and this is intended for us to fix the timing of the injection of the fuel pump so you see that that means that is top dead center cylinder number one and as we turn this four degrees seven degrees ten degrees that is when you want diesel to be introduced depending upon the type of cylinder cylinder head you have okay like i've already discussed in this video like i've said watch this one first and you can only truly verify when diesel will be introduced by using a dial indicator as well as a pre-stroke measuring tool by inserting it here okay and that's what we will do in order for us to find out what advancing one tooth would do to your engine or when diesel will be introduced okay so as you can see the dial the indicators already installed i'm going to tilt the fuel pump all the way right so that way meaning the fuel pump is all the way advanced including advanced one tooth here okay and let's see Okay, so as you can see, the dial indicator reads zero. The fuel pump has been tilted all the way advanced and I've already reversed the crankshaft to before top dead center, okay? Okay, so let's verify that. I'm going to reverse this further and we should no longer see the dial indicator moving. Okay, and it's not moving. Okay, so that's perfect. Now what we're looking for as we turn this crankshaft all the way to top dead center or all the way after top dead center, we would want that this dial indicator would turn only one complete rotation. And should it turn only one complete rotation, after this mark goes beyond top dead center or after top dead center, then that means this cell is still being introduced after top dead center and there is no harm there. So we are going to confirm and verify that now. Okay, so I'm going to rotate the crankshaft now. Let's pay attention on this dial. It should only give us one complete rotation. By that time, the timing mark on the crankshaft should, only, should already go beyond top dead center, okay? And let's see. Okay, that's already beyond top dead center. I'm already close to four degrees seven degrees so as you can see seven degrees after top dead center one complete rotation meaning even if we already advanced this by one tooth it's safe to say that diesel is still introduced 
after top dead center and that is perfectly fine so let's try this scenario instead of just advancing it by one tooth we're going to advance it by two okay so we're still in perfect timing here we're advanced by two here and we're in perfect timing here okay okay so as you can see we are now advanced by two instead of just one but we are still in perfect timing here and also here okay top dead center so i'm going to reverse this crankshaft now to before top dead center until this dial indicator stops moving okay and it stops at exactly at zero so again should we turn this crankshaft to top dead center or after top dead center we should only get one complete rotation that means diesel is already introduced and we would want the timing mark to be after top dead center okay okay so again pay close attention we would only want to see one complete rotation the fuel pump is still all the way tilted advanced and then i'm going to rotate the crankshaft okay hold on and let's do that let's watch the dial indicator and as you can see that is already one complete rotation and this timing mark did not even reach the top dead center that means diesel will be introduced before top dead center and that we do not want that okay i repeat we do not want that we want diesel to be introduced after top dead center okay so as you have seen there's our result now conclusions now as far as i'm concerned if we're only going to advance it by one tooth it still is i would say perfectly okay because diesel can still be introduced after top dead center even if we have already tilted, tilted the fuel pump all the way advanced okay as shown from our dial indicator however if we're going to advance it by two instead of just one then that would cause a problem because like shown here you see diesel is already introduced before top dead center and that will not make your engine work okay so i do believe that's it i do hope that answers the question as to what does it mean or what happens when we advance the fuel pump by one tooth as you have seen we also tried advancing it by two now one tooth i would still say is still perfectly okay like i've said diesel can still be introduced after top dead center even if the fuel pump is tilted all the way advanced so i believe i'm going to end this here I hope you find this video helpful and informative. If you do, let me know in the comments below, okay? If you're new to my channel, like, share, subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to. And as always, thank you for watching.